Hey, this time we're going to talk at tool anchors and what they are, how you use them, and how you move them. Let's first of all start with what they are. So there are three tool anchors on each of your hands, so six in total, and they do numerous things with your avatar and how your avatar interacts with the world. Let me hop over here into Smooth POV and I'll talk about each intern on my left hand. So here in Smooth POV, I'm going to talk about the first one, which is more obvious right now because I've got some tools on it, but it is the tool shelf anchor. The tool shelf anchor is a position where the tool shelf is created. Do note that it isn't actually the tool shelf, it's just where the tool shelf gets located uh, when the avatar spawns. So here you'll see that my tool shelf is a little bit way up my wrist, and I did that such that when it's empty, it pretty much hides inside the cuff of this jacket. That's the first tool anchor. The second one is your grab area. Now this one is invisible by default, but you can actually make it appear if you enter edit mode. I talk about edit mode in a video which is linked in the video description, but I have now uh, enabled edit mode. Actually, we don't need private UI for this one. Uh, I have now enabled, enabled edit mode so you can see it, and that's this uh, yellow orb that exists here in the middle of my palm. This controls where you can grab objects. So here I'm grabbing this by a laser, which is different, but if I wanted to grab this object physically, I go up to it, and once the um, yellow or orange circle is inside the, uh, the object, I can grab and then it will grab it. If I move my hand so that the sphere is not within the object and grab, you'll see I can't. So it just controls where you can grab. It's usually placed within the palm of your avatar's hand. The last one here is the tool tip anchor, and that controls where tools snap to. So for example, if I take this uh, developer tool tip edit mode one second, let me turn off edit mode. If I take this uh, developer tooltip here and I put it in the world, when I grab it, you'll see that it snaps to the tip of my index finger. That's where my tool tip anchor is. So that's all three of them and uh, where they are and what they do as well. Let's now talk about how you can create them and move them around. So there's a number of ways to do this. I'm going to go over all three. The first way is when you create an avatar. So here I have um, Zab's avatar called uh, the Akita. I'll link that in the video description. I keep using it because I cleaned up my hard drive recently, and this is the only sort of FPX I had on hand uh, for the moment. Everything else is sort of bundled away and backups, etc. When you create an avatar, and we're not going to go over creating an avatar in its entirety today, we're just going to talk about the tool anchors. Um, you set up where the hands and the head are. I'll link in the video description to an avatar tutorial if you're a little bit confused here. I'm going to go over from the basics. But the um, optional part here that you can control is the tool anchor visibility. So if I check this, you'll see that more objects have appeared on both the left and right hands. We'll go and take a look at the right one. I'll explain what each one is. So first of all, the largest one here, which is this circle, that's the grab area anchor, which we talked about. That's the one which goes into the palm of the hand. So if I'm creating this uh, Zab's Akita avatar here, I would put that circle into the palm of the hand. The next one here that's staring me in the face is that uh, cone. That's where the tool snaps to. So I put that one kind of on the index finger there. Uh, let me hop into no clip here. Here you'll see that there is the uh, the straight sort of rectangle here. That is the tool shelf anchor. That's one I talked about that's on my wrist here. Um, you can put that wherever you like. Some people put it sort of higher up the, the arm or some people put it on the wrist. Some people even turn its orientation so it's that way around, etc. doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to your preference. That's the three... Uh, tool anchors that exist. When you're setting them up for an avatar, if you have use symmetry enabled, um, it will position them on both hands. If you have it off, it won't position them on the other hand. So you can see here I've configured the right hand, but the left hand is stuck. I won't complete this process as this as an avatar I already have set up, but it's just to show you how to move them when you're creating an avatar. Once you've created an avatar, you can also edit them, and there's a number of ways of doing that. Let's go over all of those. So the first way, which might actually be uh, a lot easier to do, is to use a tool which has been created by the community. If you go to the inventory and you go inside the Essential Tools folder, turn back on my private UI here, you'll see that there is a folder with inside Essential Tools called Community Tools. Inside Community Tools, there is Community Avatar Tool. Inside here are a bunch of tools made by a Business Lawyer. This one in the middle that looks like a space right now, but you'll have to select it just in case these uh, thumbnails change, is the Avatar UI Adjust Tool. When you spawn this in, You'll see that there's a huge platform that spawns. Feel free to scale this around and, and move it to somewhere else. It does need to be roughly the size of your avatar, though. There we go. That should be good. I'm going to hop back into Noclip. Do ignore the extra locomotion modules in here. I made a mess of the world earlier. Uh, once you're inside here, just stand inside the uh, beam coming off the central platform and click this Enable Avatar UI Edit Mode um, button. Once this is collected, you'll now see that there are a lot more um, objects on my avatar. You'll see that there is a cone. This is where the tool tip anchor is. So if I wanted to move that, I can just go ahead and move it like this by grabbing it. There's the grab area anchor. I can go ahead and move that, say I wanted it in a different location. Um, and I can also move the tool 
shelf anchor. So I can move that sort of back. Let's put it over there. You can uh, do this for both sides, although uh, do bear in mind that grabbing grabbing your finger with your palm is pretty difficult. So I usually swap. So if I'm doing my right hand, I'll use my left hand to grab things. So here we go. Grab that around, move it around. As I have a tool equipped, you can actually see them in action here. So if I grab this, you'll see not only am I moving the tool tip anchor, but I'm also moving the tool itself. When you're using this tool, you may notice floating around in the um, distance are green circles. Do not worry about them. That is one of the phased out tool anchors, which was where the old radial menu used to um, spawn and occur. The new one appears rightly in front of your laser, so it's uh, usually a much better location. So just ignore that one you're using this tool. It's just a side effect of this tool being a little bit old. Once you're done editing, hit disable your edit mode and those uh, pictures, uh, those models will disappear. You can also delete the tool and you're done. Whenever you change your anchors, do make sure that you save your avatar. Like other things, when you're changing your avatar, you do need to save your avatar each to each change. Now I'm going to land again and show you how to move them manually if you don't want to use that tool. You can also make, uh, move them completely manually. I find this one sometimes more easier than that um, than the tool, but uh, it's up to you. What I'm going to go do, go ahead and do is uh, duplicate this tool and equip it in the uh, left hand so I can show you this working and then equip uh, another one in the right hand here and I'm going to go ahead and inspect my hand so if I point my uh, developer tooltip at my hand and hit secondary and then open inspector this will be the hand collider if I go up one level you'll see I'm on the left hand and now you'll see all of the anchors here appearing so you'll see tooltip anchor that's where the tooltip is and you'll see here I can move this around using the regular gizmos. Uh, there's a link in the video description to my gizmo video to talk about these more. But I can move, rotate, etc. Uh, the tooltip to change where it is. And again, you'll see it's changing where that tool that I've got equipped is uh, located. You will also see grab area anchor. This is the grab area. Uh, if you want to see what that looks like, you can go ahead and go to the session, turn on edit mode again. And then when you move it around, you'll be able to see it. That changes where you can grab. Uh, let me turn back off edit mode here. And then the last one is that uh, tool shelf anchor. I would say just put a tool, sh uh, tool on the tool anchor and then you'll be able to move it around. This one's a little bit more um, difficult as it uh, doesn't exactly control where the, the tool shelf is. But again, you can move it around with your gizmos here, change its location, etc. That's it for moving them around completely manually, other than using that tool. Um, when you're doing them manually, do notice that you'll see uh, there is a menu anchor here. Uh, that is the defunct uh, menu anchor. Don't worry about it. You don't need to move it. It uh, won't do anything. That is it for tool anchors and how to move them. If you found that helpful, do let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.